Good evening, good evening, my friend. Today, today, sorry it's been a while since I've shared. I just realized it's been a week, and uh, yeah, that's how that goes. And uh, sorry, but John 14, we need to talk about it. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may also be. And where I go, you know, and the way, you know. And, you know, I just feel like this is a really encouraging word for us, that Jesus speaks. And if we could just, even just this first verse, if we could just apply this to our life. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Like, if we, if we could just apply that to our hearts. Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't allow any of your circumstances to trouble your heart. And, and what does that feel like? You know, anxiety, depression, sadness. Uh, distress like no matter what it is wherever you are in your life don't let your heart be troubled it's something that we control you know it, it's something that that we have control over because because the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness self-control and our hearts under the the guidance of the spirit we're able to control even how our hearts feel and how we allow them to feel we have to we can take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ and in our heart we can make it obey you know we can be like no I'm not gonna let my heart be troubled at this moment I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna be sad I'm not gonna be depressed I'm not gonna be angry I'm not gonna be anxious you know I'm gonna choose to believe in God and believe in Jesus you know so and and he's comforting us like listen I mean, he, he's comforting the disciples at that time, like, you know, my father has a place for you, you know, and, and I love how he says, if it wasn't that way, I would have told you. He's like, even if it was bad news that I didn't have, if I, whatever news I had, that's what I would tell you, but it just so happens to be good news, you know, Jesus is like, I was sent as a faithful witness to testify to the truth to you to speak to you on behalf of my father and i'm telling you the goodness of god the good things of god i'm telling you that there's a place for you there and and i'm gonna go and and prepare this place and then i'm gonna come again um to receive you so so that because he wants us to be with him and man you know, he's like, where I am, you may also be. And, and you know where I'm going and the way you know. He's like, you know, kind of like, you know, how we, we know that we, we have to know that we can control our heart. Like, we have to know, like, where we're going. We have to know, you know, we have to be convinced of our faith. And that's how we can have reassurance. And that's how we can have the power of the Holy Spirit come upon us to take control of our hearts reins and our thoughts and everything and be like no I know where I'm going and I know how to get there you know what I mean like I know Jesus is the way the truth and the life I know that in him I have everything I you know he in him all things are yes and amen he is the fulfillment of all the promises of God to us that we are proving God proved to us in Jesus that we are his sons and that we are the pinnacle of his creation, you know, like the, the height, the, the climax, uh, we are, uh, his image bearers. We are his family and he is residing within us and imparting to us, uh, an inheritance in himself. And, and it's beyond anything that I could even begin to talk about, but the fact that God we're inheriting God, and, and God is imparting to all of us a portion of himself. I mean, it's, it's mind-blowing. But let not your heart be troubled. 
believe in God and believe in Jesus.